Hello, everyone. My name is Minne. I come from University of California, Riverside. My poster is about prediction of hydrogen plasma induced modified alertase titanium dioxide cell cell one service with desirable water splitting performance. And as we know, the alertase titanium dioxide is a promising and well studied material for photocatalytic of water splitting. As is well known, due to its large band gap, the titanium dioxide cannot uh, use the sunlight efficiently. So we should find a way to reduce the band gap. One of the methods is to modify the surface structure by hydrogenation. And this treatment changes the color of the titanium dioxide from white to black. And the band gap narrowing of the black titanium dioxide is achieved by raising the valence band maximum without change the conduction band minimum. And while it remains unknown exactly which structural modification uh, leads to the favorable band alignment of the black titanium dioxide. And in this work, we explore possible structure changes to the surface of the TRO2 induced by absorption of hydrogen atom to the titanium dioxide. And under the hydrogen plasma condition, uh, one of the possible surface modification happened to the topmost titanium dioxide layer. And the, uh, the titanium atom at the color removed uh, 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 will move to the center of this structure as shown by this modified surface. And for this modified surface, and the, the topmost uh, titanium dioxide layer is intact, but out of reach with the bottom layers. Uh, however, for this modified surface, it shows uh, improved ability to split the water. And after uh, the introduction, I will show uh, the calculated result. And uh, at first, we discussed the hydrogen plasma favored surface modification. And uh, we consider all of the titanium and the oxygen atom on both the first and second layer of the surface as potential hydrogen atom absorption site. And uh, for this finger, it shows the relative surface uh, st stability of these two surfaces uh, as a function of the number of absorbed hydrogen atoms. And uh, here we can find without hydrogen atom absorption and uh, the energy of the modified surface is about 1.4 electron volt higher than that of the crystal surface. And however, uh, once the hydrogen atom are uh, absorbed, energy difference between the modified and the pristine surface uh, decreases. Uh, eventually, uh, with four absorbed hydrogen atoms, the modified surface become uh, most stable uh, than the pristine surface. And uh, based on the surface absorption energy of the hydrogen atom, and uh, we will allow determine the required pressure of the hydrogen atom needed to modify the pristine surface. And this finger is about the surface space diagram. Uh, it shows the uh, surface energy as a function of the hydrogen chemical potential or the hydrogen atom partial pressure. And the solid line uh, denotes the pristine surface and the dash line is for the modified surface. Different color uh, denotes different uh, lump of hydrogen atom absorption. And here we find uh, when the hydrogen chemical potential is larger than negative, negative 1.4 electron volt, the modified surface, uh, the, the green flash line uh, with four hydrogen atom absorption become the most favorable surface. And since a small difference uh, in the chemical potential, can cause a large change of the pressure. So we report 
The native pressure of the hydrogen atom at a range between 7.3 and 30 Pascal. And this range assumes a 10% error in the calculated hydrogen chemical potential. And the next, we turn to uh, calculating the barrier transition uh, barrier between the pristine and modified surface. And uh, uh, the strongest line is the uh, uh, transition path between the pristine and modified surface without a soft hydrogen atom. The dashed line uh, is about the transition of the surface with four hydrogen atom or soft. And we find well, without hydrogen atom absorption, and the transitional barrier is very high. However, uh, with four hydrogen atom absorption, the transition barrier decreased to about 0.5 electron volt per surface unit cell, so which means this transition can be happened uh, in the experiment. After showing that the modified surface uh, becomes favorable at higher hydrogen plasma pressure. Now we turn to uh, the study of the water bleeding performance of the modified surface. When the titanium dioxide is used to catalyze the water bleeding, uh, the catalyst is immersed in the water uh, environment. So uh, we consider the surface, uh, we consider the situation in uh, which the surface is absorbed with one water molecule. And in this finger, we show the density of state of the surface absorbed with one water molecule. And compared with the pristine surface with the modified surface, we can find uh, for both of these two cases, the conduction band minimum nearly the same uh, in the pristine and modified surface. However, the Venus band maximum of the modified surface is about one electron volt higher uh, than the modified surface. Uh, since the modified surface has a higher uh, VBM than the pristine surface, the reduced band gap of the modified surface should contribute to better water polluting performance to test this hypothesis, we study the uh, water osmolality reaction uh, uh, path on the surface. And the last finger shows the uh, free energy profile of this two surface of uh, the water osmolality reaction. And uh, for the black uh, line, it shows the case for the bridging surface. Uh, we can find uh, the red controlling step on the pristine surface is from step one to step two, which is about the first proton removal step. However, this red controlling step does not exist on the modified surface, which means the modified surface has much better water polluting performance than the pristine surface. Uh, that's all the results. Uh, finally, it's about the conclusion and the uh, suggested experiment. And in this project, uh, we find the pristine, we find the modified surface uh, has, has better water pristine performance uh, since there is a low energy barrier on the modified surface. And it is a better performance, uh, many come from the smaller band gap on the modified surface. And since the VBM of the modified surface is raised up, and uh, I think we can uh, verify uh, this um, modification by conducting uh, some experiment. And at first, we can synthesize the ZL1 titanium dioxide surface in the experiment. And uh, this ZL1 surface can be synthesized by adding hydrofluoric acid, acid into the titanium the oxide uh, precursor, pre precursor, assists the hydrofluoric acid can act as a shape control, uh, controlling agent, uh, which makes the ZL1 surface more stable than the 101 surface. Uh, besides this, 
we can also grow the Z1 service on some uh, seed layer substrate. And uh, like according to our calculation, and uh, the Z1 service uh, can be modified when exposed to partial pressure of hydrogen atom uh, as a range between 0 0.3 to uh, 30 Pascal. And based on the a previous a study, uh, this kind of hydrogen atom pressure uh, is within the experiment range of achievable hydrogen plasma conditioner. And for more details, it can be found in this paper. Thank you for your attention.